All right, so before we get into this boss fight, guys, I just want to tell you guys quickly, 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 I just want to tell you guys how much I enjoyed playing Sekiro. It was an awesome experience. I didn't want to post everything I did in the game. Um, I just wanted to kind of post some of the boss fights um, that I think that were really, really impressive on what they did with this game. So I know I didn't do a full pay playthrough of Sekiro, but I definitely want you guys to know that I enjoyed this game to the fullest. No doubt about it. This fight that you're about to see is the final boss fight. So I really did enjoy it. He kicked my ass. I think I did a little bit of it on stream for a little bit. But then, oh my god, this guy just kept... But once I got to a certain place and I started to learn what he did and what he did not do, I was able to just flow with it. So, I did not have anything recorded. Um, I did not have anything recorded um, as an audio while I was playing because I was just trying to be the boss. I wish I had... I was recording, but I didn't have any no audio of me saying anything or anything like that so i'm gonna do my best to do a voiceover of this fight okay um and i don't know make it funny or some or something of the sort um but it was pretty epic i felt really good when i beat him and beat this game because as i've said before sekiro is not it's not a hard game it's all about you're not going to know what to do the first time you come upon a boss. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen plenty of videos on YouTube of people doing no damage runs and stuff like that and teaching you how to beat bosses and stuff like that. Trust me, all that stuff is trial and error. Don't beat up yourself if you've never played this game or you haven't finished it. Just learn the moves, man. Take time to learn out. Don't get frustrated. Um, take time to learn what you're trying to play. Okay, learn the boss's move, get to the different stages. That's what I did with the final boss. I Once I learned how to get through the, f the first dude and then the dude stepped out of him and then I, I started getting to the second stage pretty easily. And then the third stage started kicking my ass and then I switched up and then I started learning the third stage. Um, is it pretty after a while I don't think that if I play this game again on new game plus it's gonna give me that many issues I think I think this boss would probably be pretty easy if I or all the bosses in this game should be pretty easy on the second playthrough um, because I've learned all their moves and stuff like that their move sets and stuff like that I am gonna be doing a second playthrough but I'm probably gonna do that on my time I'll probably post some boss fights on new game for new game plus but other than that i don't know what's going to happen so as i said before let's get to this voiceover and then i'll give my final some of my final thoughts at the end of this clip so let's jump into this boss fight i'll see you then all right let us load it up you know what i'm saying um so i'm gonna narrate i'm not <laughs> i'm just gonna do my best to do a voiceover of this clip Okay, so this is the final time I had that this is the time that I beat him. Okay, so we run up the stair, we're gonna cut cut a cutscene. And as I said, um I only had to use one resurrection during the during this one. I'm pretty sure if I played him again, it wouldn't have taken me this long. So the first time first thing I did was of course you gotta dodge that so you go behind him. He wasn't too this part of it is not hard because you play this guy like twice. You played him in the beginning of the game when you didn't know anything, um, which is, you know, you could lose to him or you could beat him at that point, um, right? But he, he's, he's, he's not he's not hard to get past, you know what I'm saying? Pretty easy move set to get through, right? So I beat him here, you know what I'm saying? Get him out of the way, he's, he's easy, you know what I'm saying? Easy peasy, because you I've beaten him once right so i already knew his set moves i mean he killed me sometimes while i was trying to do it but here comes the dude that is the real boss right and so him if you see my strategy here of what i'm using i'm no expert by any means i'm pretty sure other people have done way better job than me at beating this boss people have done no damage runs as i've said before but once you did the move c it didn't take me long because once you get to know their moves the second stage is a bit challenging, in my opinion, 
but you still gotta stay aggressive and that's what I try to do for the most part to try to stay aggressive as much as possible and deflect as much as possible right heal when you can and just try to read his moves and try to, to, to get that posture up because if you don't get that posture up you're gonna be fighting this boss for a very long time you get what I'm saying so you gotta stay aggressive and block those moves right so I tried my best here to stay with him and deflect as much of his moves as possible you know what I'm saying um, learn his movesets so you know what he's doing when he does certain things here's when I use my first resurrect and then he didn't put me down again so I learned and I stayed aggressive as I said you don't want that imposter to go down so you gotta stay aggressive even if you gotta take the chance of waiting for that third stage to come before you heal you can do that I know I'm preaching to the choir right now because as I said you're not gonna watch my video to find a strategy on this it's just how I figured out how to beat the boss by not even watching any videos on YouTube you know what I'm saying it's not that I'm looking at all the different videos I see people do no damage runs of the entire game I'm like whoa <laughs> you know what I'm saying so this is my first time playing the game of course the third stage here now is one new element gets added to the boss fight which is him being able to do lightning right so you have the lightning counter where you can jump catch the lightning throw it back at him um so i did that a couple of times um in in this or maybe it was only once yeah i did it right there again as you can see i did it twice so you gotta keep stay aggressive because it's the same move set from phase two so um, I don't think he hit me at all in, 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 in phase 3. I don't think he hit me at all. I dodged everything, right? So he gets a couple new moves, and this is the final hit right here. So as I said, I'm not trying to be funny or anything. I was just trying to... I'm pretty sure other people had way better guides on how to beat this boss, but I figured this out on my own of just playing through the entire second run, beating all the mini-bosses, all the, the and getting all the the beads and everything so i think i did a pretty good job you know what i'm saying um i was happy that i didn't have to use a second resurrect to stay in this fight um because this dude when i say he was whooping my ass i died to him at least 50 times i don't think he i don't think 50 times but um it's close <laughs> i don't think 50 times but it's close so um, you get some new stuff So it's pretty cool man. I liked it very much. It only took me around five minutes. I think to beat him um, So as I said stay aggressive. I'm pretty sure people has other Videos out there as I said you guys are not looking for strategies from that You just want to see me beat the boss so I beat the game um, So we're gonna watch the final cutscene here um, You did you do get a choice at the final cutscene that's one of the things that I noticed that you do get a choice at the final cutscene um, so I chose one I didn't know what the other one was going to do so I just chose one and the way how the game ended um, it was very fitting for the for the story itself also it was very fitting um, I don't know what would have happened if you chose to give him just the 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 other thing but I chose to give him both um, the kid right I think his name is Kerr or whatever his name is so I chose to give him both of them so um, what ends what ends up happening um, you will see because I know I don't know maybe all of you guys that watch these secular videos have already um, beat the game or played it or whatever I don't know I don't know I'm just showing this because I said at the time when I was playing I was playing this late last night and I said let me try and beat this boss tonight um, I had just finished recording some reactions and I said while these re um, reactions are rendering out and stuff like that let me try and beat this boss I didn't hook up the mic or anything like that I just said let me try to beat the boss and I ended up beating him and I was kind of like uh should I <laughs> upload this or not you know what I'm saying um you know 
So I said, let me do a voiceover for it and just talk about my experience with the game while the the fight is playing and, and you know, kind of explaining, you know, the, the torture I had to go through of figuring out how to beat this boss and learning his moveset. And he got me a couple of times. As I said, the third phase is not as hard as the second phase. I think the second phase is the hardest phase of this boss because it has a new element to it, which you got to really watch out for those really long wide swings that he does with the spear so it's pretty cool it ends up that Sekiro kills himself um so I think it was a very fitting end for him to go out like that because he lived to serve you know what I'm saying and it was his final service to the kid that he swore to protect so that was it was an awesome ending in my opinion and I don't know if there's a way that he stays alive, maybe the other choice would have made him stay stay alive and both of them would be alive at the end. Or maybe it would have just saved the kid and the kid would have died anyways. I don't know what would have happened. But in any case, I enjoyed the game. It was an awesome game. It was an awesome experience. Um, I don't know. If, did Sekiro get Game of the Year? I, I'm not sure. Cause I'm, I'm pretty sure it didn't because it's the same year that God of War came out if I'm not mistaken or was it or was it last year because last year was it last year was it 2000 I can't say last year it's already 2021 so last year for 2019 I know 2018 it was God of War so maybe Sekiro got 2019 I don't remember okay so you guys can let me know so that is the end of Sekiro my impressions of the game it was that it was a very challenging game but it's not a hard game as some have made it out to be even with the demon bell because I tried it I tried out the demon bell for a while and it didn't make the game that much harder like they hit you harder but you you get what I'm saying like you get hit hard like you lose a lot more health when you get hit but once you learn how to play Sekiro, only bosses really give you an issue in this game. I'm going to be honest. Only bosses really do give you an issue. Um, the mini bosses, once you figure out how to how to beat them and what they're trying to do, um, even if you're going to cheese a boss to get, um, to get something done, it still works out for you. So some, I think one of the hardest mini boss in this game is, I think is the guy with the, the, um, one of the big guys with the with a uh, I think it's a big spear that he has I think he's called like three spears or something of this sort. <laughs> I don't remember I think he's called like three spears or Ashina spears or something of the sort but he was one of the harder bosses that I had many bosses that I had to fight I would say the hardest boss is definitely the final boss which I'm always which I always love if it's the final boss that's the hardest boss I think the second hardest boss that I fought was the Demon of Hatred. Um, I think the Demon of Hatred was the hardest boss. Not the hardest boss, but the next, the second hardest boss to fight in the game. And the reason being is because I was determined to beat the Demon of Hatred because I was like, um, I'm going to figure out what you're doing. This is another boss with three phases. There's not a lot of bosses in this game with three phases. Um, um, that adds new element for every phase. I think the Demon of Hatred was real was really hard. I didn't post that fight because um, after I figured out what to do, you know, I got to the third stage a couple of times. He was really whooping me because he got this fire element, which was just you get hit by that, you're done. So I just figured out that same thing with this in this fight. You got to stay aggressive. Um, you're gonna build up the posture even if you're not aggressive you can build up the posture on the demon of hatred never had an issue with that um, the problem is staying um, staying out of like the line of sight because you got to stay on that booty you know what I'm saying staying out of that booty stay aggressive I think you will be fine um, for this for, for, for the demon of hatred fight and finally I got him of course it was it was a tough challenge um and as i said before i think there's other bosses that i did not fight in the game i don't think i fought every boss because i think there's another i think there's probably like four bosses i didn't fight in this game 
and I'm probably gonna do a second run and try to beat every single boss in the game but I, I'm pretty sure that there's some prayer beads out there still for me to get um, for that first run through but I did start my second run through I said let me do it all over and try to do kill all the bosses I didn't get all the prayer beads I got I think up to the ninth um, power up the ninth beat prayer bead um, I think there's a tenth prayer bead in the game and I think I missed like four of them I don't know where they are or how to get them but I'm definitely gonna figure that out but anyways guys thank you guys so much for tuning in as I said man this game I wouldn't say it's a masterpiece, but it's definitely a game that everybody should try. It's a very challenging game, no easy mode kind of foolishness. You know, us from the old days when it comes down to games, we don't do that easy mode shit. You know what I'm saying? We play games the way how they are, and I'm glad that we're getting back to that place in gaming where games are hard again. You know what I'm saying? We went through a little bit of phase there with games where games were just easy, 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 easy. So all these Souls type games that has come, that has surfaced, that have come out in the past, I want to say maybe five years, maybe five to ten years or so, they've really brought back the, the genre and the skills of uh, of gaming itself and make letting people get good. You know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate that. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. I'm out. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts. Peace.